All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we are preparing the wheat field, I guess you could call it. Uh, not quite a field, but maybe a patch. This is gonna be our first time planting wheat on a, on a scale like this. We tried wheat, uh, not last year, I think, but the year before that on a small patch, and eh, we, we didn't really have great luck with it. It got overtaken by weeds and it kind of turned into a mess, uh, partly because of some mistakes we made with, with uh, you know planting and preparing the soil and things. So. We're gonna try to avoid that this year. Now it is a little bit late to plant wheat. Generally we plant wheat in the fall and it'll kind of pop up and then die off over winter or go dormant. And then in the springtime, when the weather warms up, it'll pop back up again and it'll grow through and go through its cycles, uh, life cycles. Uh, so we are a little bit late. We're here in April in Michigan. Uh, probably could have planted this maybe back in March, but it's been so wet here that there hasn't been a good time to do it. So. If you remember last year this was our corn patch this is i don't remember how long 130 feet or something like that by maybe 40 feet wide or something uh, close to that anyway so it's a pretty good size patch of dirt that uh, that we have cleared here um, i'm not really going to expand this i'm just going to stick with pretty much the same size patch that i had last year for the sweet corn but we're going to do the wheat this year now i'm planting an einkorn wheat it's called uh, it's an ancient green it's an older kind of a, a very old heritage uh, or heirloom type of grain it's supposed to be a little bit better for those that have trouble with gluten digestion uh, it also is a little healthier grain all right so basically what i have done to prepare this um, i know a lot of people talk about no till and don't till and all this stuff i i can go do a whole video about tilling versus no tilling and when it's appropriate to, to till and when it's not um, and and what the benefits are of both and all that kind of stuff we can talk about that in a whole other video uh, there's a lot to be discussed there for sure, but uh, the reason that I till this patch is for two reasons. Number one, I want to make sure that any grass patches that were in there, I get those ripped up and ripped out. Um, once those are ripped up, I've gone through and just picked any clumps of grass out that were growing in here and thrown that over to the goats. Uh, now, I've gotten all the grass, any weeds or anything like that is killed off because those had time to pop up this spring, and now I've killed those off. So I'm going to have much less of a weed problem in here. But also because all winter I've taken uh, chicken manures and goat manures and pig bedding and manures, all that stuff, and I've spread it out over this, this patch all winter long. So I want to use that tiller to work all that stuff and spread it all out and get it worked into that soil so I don't have clumps and patches and stuff like I did last year when I dumped in the uh, big piles of compost and uh, didn't, didn't, wasn't able to really spread it in well. So this year we should have a really rich soil and you can see it, it's, it's nice and black all that manure bedding and compost is in there it's going to be great so i think this is going to grow really well so i've gone through and i've tilled this up pretty deep uh, maybe a few inches deep i've run the tie-ins in reverse i've run them in fo forward I've gone over this whole thing but uh, now i've let it dry out for a couple hours because it was starting to get real clumpy in the in a tiller and i'm going to go over this one more time with the tie-ins in forward just to kind of kick everything up and break everything up nice loose top layer i'm going to set the uh, depth a little bit shallower and then we're going to go and just do old style broadcast hand broadcast planting with our wheat seeds i'll show you the wheat seeds and uh, we'll get this thing planted so this is the tiller that i'm using it's a cub cadet and you guys know me who have been following this channel i am a made in america everything kind of guy but i'll tell you what this honda engine is awesome uh, all winter long this thing sat, it uh, hasn't been touched, and one pull and it starts fired right up, even with old gas in it. So, really good engine. I can't, I can't complain. Honda engines are always good, and uh, I don't have, a, don't have really any complaints about them. I do like a good Briggs and Stratton engine, but man, this thing, this thing works well. So this is the uh, the seed that we have. It's uh, we got two and a half pounds in this bag and two and a half pounds in another bag. So it's a full five pounds. Um, I think that's probably overkill from what I can figure with uh, what I looked up online. And it's probably more than I need for this size space. But um, this is the the seed, and we're going to be br hand broadcasting this. So it'll be <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. But the idea is that I get this seed really thick in there because I know there's going to be some grass, there's going to be some weeds that are, it's going to pop up here. And if I can let this wheat just grow up quick and, and uh, overpower most of that stuff, then I think I'll still have a, a good harvest. 
there's going to be some grass popping in there there's going to be some weeds growing with it i understand that but uh it's a lot better for me than to planting it in rows and wasting all that space with the rows in between and and then having to go and weed that so i'm going to try to do it this way and we'll see what happens this year if it fails we'll do it different next year so i got this from adaptive seed uh, this is actually grown i believe in the northwest i think it was um, there's also sustainableseeds.com and a few other sites that you can get bulk seed like this from. Um, this is uh, kind of hard to find actually. So I looked around, uh, most, most places were out of stock, but uh, it wasn't cheap either. It was 50 bucks for five pounds. If they start coming over here, just chase them out with a stick or something. We'll see. I might have to come back and do it a little thicker once I make sure I can cover the whole patch. It's looking pretty, looking pretty thin. Are the ducks watching? Oh yeah. They're waiting for the right moment to come in here and take all these seeds. They're not coming yet, are they? All right. Yep, this one's empty, and we're about halfway through. Go on, ducks. Go, 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 go. Does he have a? Does he have his legs stuck in a stick? Did he get it out? Okay. Yeah, he did. So, one of the reasons that uh, we wanted to plant wheat was because one of the things that we don't have a source of is bread. We have to buy the wheat berries to grind up for flour or, or we have to uh, buy flour. So if we can, we'll see how much wheat we can produce in this much land. And then if it's enough, and then we'll grow this every year, maybe in different places, different plots, rotate things around, but we'll get an idea of how much we can produce with this specific kind of, of grain and be able to make all of our own breads and buns and biscuits and all that stuff. Look who found us. They're coming in. Yep, you gotta get them ducks out of here. Get them out of here until I can get this all covered up. This patch is so rich in nitrogen because of all that composted manure and the compost from last year and the hay that we put in here and the straw. <laughs> Who needs a seed spreader? Look at that, right to the corner perfect amount that's it so I'm just gonna cover the seat up by running a rake over there with the back edge of it over everything and just toss that soil over top of everything loosen it all up and the soil is pretty clumpy so it's not great but I think it'll cover up enough for the birds to keep out of here and the ducks hopefully won't find it all. Really the point here is just to let all the seeds settle into the nooks and crannies of the soil here. And first time it rains or I put a sprinkler on it depending on which comes first. This will settle in and those seeds will start sprouting right away. I know someone is already commenting why doesn't he use his tractor? <laughs> and somebody's saying, you need a seeder, a seed spreader. And somebody's saying, why don't you drag a chain link fence behind your tractor and that'll smooth all that out. And a lot of people ask those questions when I'm out doing stuff like this by hand. And believe it or not, what the heck is that? It's 
graphite sheet metal I always have a good reason well I always have a reason might not be good but so I've got a nice big tractor and if I were out in a big field you know I'd be doing that I'd be investing a bunch of money into seed spreaders and no-till seed drills and discs and cultivators and all that stuff but there's no need to drive an 8,000 pound tractor around on a your freshly tilled up soil to do stuff like that of course I could use my garden tractor I suppose or the golf cart for stuff like this too I could just as easily get out here and spend some time out in the sun and work the soil. Get. Well, I think that just about does it. All the seeds uh, pretty much covered, at least 90% of it is. So I think that'll work out okay for us. I'll probably put the sprinkler on it and uh, get it real soaked soaked in pretty good uh, over the next couple hours. But my real challenge is just getting those ducks and keeping them out of there. So I'm gonna have to, have to try to catch some ducks, it looks like. But we are definitely excited to have wheat this year. So hopefully this, hopefully this little patch will, uh, will grow for us and it'll work out okay and the weeds don't take over and uh, it end up being a, a catastrophe. Uh, we'll see, it'll be nice to, to have some wheat, but we'll, uh, we'll know how well this weed is growing over the next two months. And you know, by the end of June, if this isn't, you know, if the weeds have taken over, if it's, if it's too hard to keep up with this by hand, then, uh, then I may scrap it and I may just plant something else in there, you know, a short, uh, short season crop and, and see what we can grow, grow that way. So uh, we'll see, but I'll tell you what, the soil is perfect. I think the, the conditions of the soil are, are just, just right in here for wheat uh, or corn or anything like that, high nitrogen uh, consumption crops. It's got, it's, it's got a real good chance of growing well. So we'll see what happens. I've got the huge patch in the back still, the old pumpkin patch. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do another pumpkin patch this year or whether I'm going to try to do black oil sunflowers. I had some some ideas for uh, uh, those as possibly an income thing down the road. We'll see how well they grow and maybe doing sunflower oil or bird seeds or something like that. So, uh, or, or using them as animal feed for, for the farm. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Pumpkins or sunflowers? Any, any advice out there? I, I'll take it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, video today, planting the uh, wheat. We've never grown uh, wheat. We've never grown and, and harvested our own wheat anyway. And so We'll be excited to see how this turns out. If it works, I'll take you guys along uh, in a, in a catch-up video at the end of everything that we did along the way, uh, kind of a full from beginning to end video. We'll, we'll go from planting it to uh, making some homemade maybe artisan bread or something like that. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, guys. It makes a huge difference on every single video. Always appreciated. And subscribe if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel. This kicks off our gardening season officially outside here this is the first thing we've planted outside but lots more to come so stick around for that and you get them out go chase them out they're gonna be a problem if you're looking to get your garden started and you haven't bought your seeds yet there's still plenty of time lots of things to plant and we can't even plant in, until may here in michigan so check out mi gardener i'll put a link in the description 89 cents a packet for seeds you get a discount for using the link through the ssl family dad channel and uh that's where we get almost all of our seeds for our garden except for the bulk stuff like this and uh man what a great little business uh and a great youtube channel he has over there so check him out and link in the description for the discount on those seeds and as always guys thanks for watching have a good one